Well, the Nelligan craft was made from the draft and know how the trade winds drove her. She had 23 masts, she stood several blasts, they called her the Irish Rover. Now there was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee, there was Bogan from County Tyrone, but to know, there was Johnny McGurk, who scares different work, and a chap from Westbeat named Malone. There was the girl too, his strong cats are blue, and fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man, Mick McCann, from the banks of the band, the skipper of the Irish Rover. We had one million bags of the best Lago Rat, we had two million barrels of gold. We had three million hides of old Nan Eagle's tides, we had four of the Milligan craft was made from the draft and know how the trade winds drove her. She had 23 masts, she stood several blasts, they called her the Irish Rover. Now there was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee, there was Bogan from County Tyrone, but to know, there was Johnny McGurk, who scares different work, and a chap from Westbeat named Malone. There was the girl too, his strong cats are blue, and fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man, Mick McCann, from the banks of the band, the skipper of the Irish Rover. You know, uh, I think it was Mark Twain, somebody reported one time that, uh, he had, he had lost it. And he said, uh, rumors of my uh, demise. Uh, rumors demise have been greatly exaggerated. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure. If I'm... So, so, so if any casual observer you will see that I'm dealing with some issues. But uh, you know what? I'm going to kick this out of here. I'm coming back, baby. Where is my bride, anyways? Oh, yeah. at three o'clock this afternoon. I think one of the greatest things I've ever done. In the quiet of this very special moment, we have come to give thanks for all the rich experiences in life. Cheryl and George, marriage is one of the most important obligations that any two people commit to in their lifetime. Marriage offers the cha greatest changes to overcome, but in return, marriage gives us love, strength, and support for one another. It is the couple who preserves and demonstrates unrelenting patience and faith who obtain the highest form of happiness within their marriage. A good marriage is dependent upon many factors, but the first prerequisite is a strong bond of friendship and respect for one another. Your love for each other will grow deeper with the passing of each day, but the genuine liking of each other, the willingness to accept each other's strong and weak points with understanding and respect is the foundation for a strong marriage. Now, when two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise, a potential, made in the hearts of two people who love which takes a lifetime to fulfill. A loving relationship is the unconditional acceptance of another person, helping each other to attain personal goals, to grow and encouraging that growth. Each sees the other as a friend, who can be trusted, depended upon, and we all hope enjoyed. In many ways, marriage is the ultimate friendship, and that is one which is based on love. Rush in, <laughs> Let's get down to business, Cheryl. Now, Cheryl, will you take George to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish so long as you both shall live? I will.
Cheryl, here comes the tough part. Right? Short end of the stick. <laughs> and George, <laughs> you take Cheryl to be your wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, so long as you both shall live. As we stand on the o over the ocean, may your love always be as constant and unchanging as the never-ending waves that break before us, flowing endlessly from the depths of the sea. Your love came softly upon each other's hearts, just as the sea, sea foam lies softly before us, and just as there will never be a morning without the ocean's flow, may there never be a day without your love for each other. Pledge yourselves to each other this day and promise to be as faithful and dependable as the tide. Just as the waters nourish the earth and sustain life, may your constant love nourish and sustain each other until the end of time. And in front of this lovely company, by virtue of the authority vested in me under the laws of the state of Rhode Island, I now pronounce your husband and wife. I declare you've been legally married in the state of Rhode Island. And George, if you give your beautiful bride a kiss for us.
Everybody get in there. Here we go. All right. One, two, three. Pretend you like George. There we go. There we go. Who can't like George? All right. All right. From the banks of the band, the scar of the Irish Rover. We had one million bags. I'd like to just have one short reading and as you can probably guess it, it's the Irish blessing. <laughs> may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the warm rays of sun fall upon your home. And may the hand of a friend always be near. May green be the grass you walk on. May blue be the skies above you. May pure be the joy that surrounds you. And may true be the hearts that love you. I love you so much, honey. <laughs>